how I got the job was I was frankly born into it. Uh, before we had a store location, we actually, uh, my father, who's the owner, ran uh, the shop out of our house. And so I literally grew up in like a little antique shop and then it sort of we moved on to bigger and better things and we started renting a space and then uh, eventually he bought his own store which we are now in all around us. What we want to do is we want to sell nice things that people don't realize that they are almost allowed to have. And once again, a lot of people don't realize that they can own these sorts of things. I don't have any cuneiform tablets right now, but you know, it's possible to own a piece of ancient history. And in a weird way, I think that we kind of should because it's part of us as a species. You know, these are all cultures that um, even though people tend to say, oh yeah, well, you know, I, I belong to this group of people. I'm German, so I'm going to look back at German history and, you know, do German things. It's like, these are all things that have been integrated into who we are as a society at this point. You know, I want people to come in here and be like, okay, what is this? Well, tell me, explain to me why, why it's here and why you think it's so interesting. And, you know, we'll talk to them about that sort of thing because they're looking for knowledge. And that's something that, you know, the, the fact that they're looking for it and they, in their head, it's clearly valuable information to them means that, you know, we'll want to engage with you because you're respecting what we do and, you know, your questions are valuable questions. So we'll engage with that. And that's something what we want. I, I guess I'm wondering who your client base is. Is it like older people, younger people? Um... Everyone. It depends on where someone is at financially. Um, because we get a lot of older people who come in and will purchase like a $15,000 lamp, for instance. I, I think that that's, that's fine, but like, we also get people who are like 25 who have purchased like a $500 set of like Mayan beads. They pay it off slowly so that they can get this thing because they really want that thing. Right. And because, you know, after they have it, it's still cool. It maintains its value forever. And also, like, it's not like you're going to use it up. Right. Like, and especially if, you know, we're living a life of closer and closer to minimalistic. I mean, buy beautiful things to keep in your house. Like, it doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to fill it up like this freaking shop is filled. You know, this shop is chaotic. But, like, um, you can have things that are beautiful, that, that just, like, bring you joy and that aren't... So Tonka, we don't have syndicated all over the place. Paper. What we have here, it's not all necessarily something that we would want to live with 100% of the time, yeah. but it's all stuff that we can understand and we value the beauty in it. And we're hoping that we can move it on to someone who also appreciates that and who has that level of, well, this really speaks to me. This is a beautiful thing that has a level of like that human touch done to it.